Andrew? <laughs> I'll yield to Brendan since you said his name first. Uh, Leakey, just wondering how the team has sort of responded after Virginia Tech. What are some of the things you guys saw looking back at the tape that you thought you did well and uh, signs of improvement, I guess? Yeah. Um, honestly, I think we played more together. I feel like we, we bought in more. You know, um, we definitely played harder. But um, we got to find a way to win them. You know, is this some plays where we didn't really pick up the transition? Uh, not lead him too. I think he got some good uh, looks in transition at three and kind of got him going and then just gave them momentum. So we just got to find ways to just you know, stop having like the mental lapses. So. So, when you, so when you look back on the way y'all played in the first half of the next pit mm -hmm. and then the way y'all played this past game, what do you think was the biggest thing? Um, like I said, just everyone buying in more, you know, just, uh, it's just honestly, I don't know. I feel like for pit, I feel like we, um, we were really locked in during practice, but you know, we just didn't translate to the game. But is this, I don't know, just a matter of locking in. To be honest. When you say, how healthy are you right now? I know you've had problems with the turf toe a little bit. You had the, I think, had your thumb wrapped up against the game. Like, how, mm -hmm. how healthy are you right now? Um, close to 100%. I'm fine. When you say buying in, a lot of people might not understand what that means. Is it more? That what you guys have been going through, like, is being a fog that's been getting thicker and thicker to deal yeah. with, and buying in is more maybe having a clearer mind uh, collectively. Yeah, just having a clear mind has been one unit to be honest. Uh, is this like you see a lot of guys like getting hurt, and just a lot of stuff happening, and a lot of stuff not going our way. Is this you can't lose sight of like what we're trying to do? We still have to get better. We still have games to be played. We can't cancel the game because we feel sorry for ourselves. So it's just we all have to just you know just stick together. You know, we're all together. Human nature would suggest that when the injuries kept piling up, that you guys kind of well, here we go again, sort of mm -hmm. take on that mentality. Maybe it happened after Anthony mm -hmm. uh, tore his knee. Did you sense that happen with the group? And then is what you're talking about now is just kind of working through that? Yeah, it's just a matter of working through it and just being being there for each other. So, uh, this team needed somebody to step up in the scoring role. Once Cole went down, mm -hmm. Harrison has done that. He's right. had six double doubles in a row. Something mm -hmm. like that. How has he changed uh, kind of in his leadership role and his presence on the court during this stretch where he's really kind of elevated his play? Um, honestly, I don't think he's changed at all. You know, he's always been a great leader. You know, he always plays hard. It's just when Cole went down, we just seen that Garrison shooting the highest percentage right now. And it's be stupid to not give him the ball every time down the court. So He wasn't known as a scorer his first two years. He was more of a yeah. defensive guy. Right. I guess he was maybe the sixth scoring option last year. Yeah. But now here he is, right. 28 at 30 something against Clemson. Right. Is that surprising? Um, it's not surprising just because I know his work record. Uh, it's just like before the game, sometimes at, um, at night, like 10 p.m., me and him will come back, we'll get some managers, we shoot like a couple hours. But it's just, I know his work record. So it's just, I know it's just a matter of time for sure. He's extended his game quite a bit. Yeah. How much? You see, you mentioned the work ethic. Is that just something that you you saw the Garrison working out, and there he is, 15 feet, you know, constantly working on that. Right, right. He's always working on that jump shots, ball handling, you know, his uh, hooks. You know, he's trying to get um, Mondo's confidence too. You know, just everyone just trying to get more guys to uh, to stay in the gym and just work on the game. More. You ever shoot the three and shoot arounds when you guys go late? Yeah, he shoots it all the time in practice. It's <laughs> a matter of getting the confidence in the game. How does it look? Do you think he's ready? <laughs> uh, I believe in him, honestly. I've seen him make a couple of so. <laughs> Leaky, you mentioned after the Virginia Tech game that you had played point guard previously, so you're comfortable doing that. It may have just taken a couple of games to get right. back into that. What has what that process sort of been like for you, and what were the things that took the longest to come back, I guess? Um, just settling in, you know. Um, I know I kind of wanted to like rush things, like I want to do the home score, I want to get everybody involved, I want to you know, be the defensive player, I want to do all these things, but it's just a matter of just relaxing and just letting the game come to me. So, How did it feel to see a few of those three-pointers finally hit against Virginia Tech? Kind of just limited it up one recently, but really, mm -hmm. how did it have to have felt good? Yeah, it definitely felt good. Um, just trying to get something to go my way a little bit. And, uh, you know, Garrison, he's just been, like I said, we in the gym at night, like just for hours just shooting, so he's like, you put the work in, you might as well just put it up in the game. So, how's Roy been different the last few weeks? Has he been different? Yeah, has he been different at all? Maybe do you do you sense him trying to push different buttons to uh, you guys? Not necessarily. He's still the same Roy Williams that everyone knows. You know, he's still going to come in every day and 
try to feed us that confidence that we can still do this thing, you know, just take it game by game. Similar to Kobe last year, you'll have a significant height advantage over mm -hmm. Chris Likes. Is there a difficulty with guarding a guy significantly smaller, or how is that? Oh, for sure. I know we all know how good of a player he is, and, uh, <coughs> how quick and crafty he really is, and it's just a matter of giving him space, and uh, I'll be go watch the film on him and just see how that goes. Like, you know, you all, uh, you know, going through this historical streak, you all be going through and losing these games. You haven't won a game in January. Mm -hmm. The effort you all put in the other night against Virginia, it gives you confidence going into this uh, game uh, uh, tomorrow? Uh, I hope so. Honestly, I'm at the, um, I'm at the point I'm just kind of, you know, tired of more victories. I'm trying to just actually, you know, get some wins. But this is... Honestly, like we've been having like good practices, you know, good long practices, and it's just a matter of translating to the game. So hopefully, we'll just have a good one today and uh, translate to tomorrow. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.